Hi. This filter is cool. It's making my like makeup look cooler. Like more like white on the eyes. Y todo. Let's see. Oh no, it says poor connection. I'm sorry about it. Ooh, actually. Pickles. Hi guys. Hi. So basically I can't bring my phone in my refrigerator anymore because it goes like poor connection or whatever. But I wanted to eat with you guys. I'm hungry. So maybe I'll just vibe without it. I'm feeling very Josh, what's his name? Josh Safty. Very uncut gem vibes. Pickles are so good. Hi. Oi. Oh. Do you guys like picks? Pickles. Mm-hmm. I'm like a hell of town right now. Because I've been like hiking and going on like going on like walks and runs in the morning and the sun has been out in LA and like I get tan like super I don't tan like spray tan I've never spray tan in my life or like tanning bed vibes but I've been getting like my nose is peeling right now you guys just can't see but the sun has been out John? Ginta! Yeah, this filter is cool. It makes my hair look a little more blonde. Hi, Maya. Hmm. You guys are so sweet. Um, so I'm moving soon, which is really exciting. You can kind of see my five o'clock shadow because I didn't put beer corrector on today. But that's besides the point. Um, today, mm, just I think I might start packing, but I'm not sure yet. Um, but I should be moving soon. Okay, I'll have one more. I know I'm sad that Perth is not on the radar for this this part of the tour, but I promise I'll be back soon. I love Perth. I'm I'm gonna stay in Hollywood still, just a little further down the road. Mmm. But I got. I got the place that I wanted, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I see them on Sunday, but vibes. Mmm. You love my five o'clock shadow? Thanks, BB. I told you. I didn't put beard corrector on because I was doing I was doing a post for TikTok. And I noticed TikTok always has my back and like they always like take the five o'clock shadow off for me. So I was like, I'm just gonna take this makeup off. And then I'm like, no, and then I told the manager, aka my homegirl Gina, I was like, I think I might go live. And she's like, you might as well. And I was like, yeah, let's just do that. Thank you. So sweet. Dang, this is like a really quick makeup look too. I was listening to HRH Collections, laughing my ass off, just fucking doing it really quick. Yeah. 
Well, do you guys ever just get like, I get random like food cravings slash probably pregnant. Oh. Ow. Like I really love like just like these Trader Joe's jalapenos. Saying it's pausing for a poor connection. I'm just trying to find the light. Fuck the connection. But these Trader Joe's jalapenos are fucking good. I just eat them with like chips. And I also got the Stevo hot sauce. He's not playing around. Bitch, she said my Obama phone is loading. You better stop. Hmm? Yeah, right. Whatever. Yeah, the Stevo um hot sauces are actually really hot. I like hot shit and I was just like, damn bitch. Mmm. I do love some hot shit though. I'm not sponsored, these are just really good. Jesus! But cute, like, instead of drinking water, I eat a corn chip. <clears throat> not, not the vibe. I don't really care about germs. I live alone. I'm doing really good. We've just been, like, prepping for the new tour. I'm just, like, you know, getting the gigs in and vibing, getting prepped for um, DragCon. God, those fucking jalapenos are good. I could eat that whole thing. And yeah, just vibing. I might take a little break before I start going back to work and stuff. I want to like take some time to get my brain together. <clears throat> Thank you. You guys are so sweet. But also, earring came off. I just want to take some time off to just vibe and maybe go to like a desert or something. I look good blonde hair. Thank you. Um, I was gonna put my blue contacts in, but like for some reason my eyes have been like really dry lately And a lot of you guys thought I was super stoned on that um pit stop episode you guys I haven't smoked weed in so long like no offense like I don't care if you do because I used to be like a wake and baker But like I haven't smoked weed in so long you have to understand that I was getting I was up like around like 4 30 in the morning that day And I started doing makeup at like 6 in the morning. So my eyes were like joe I didn't even drink like a couple days before that Video, I was just like super just tired, like at heart, but I love that you guys thought I was like super stony baloney. I was like, and also like the reflection of the background, the pink background, I'm not trying to make sense, but I was like, I've seen it on Monet too and a couple other girls, so I was like, why me? Oh yeah, because I used to be a stony baloney. Mm. Yeah, I got like a chunk of Martha Stewart glitter in my eye. Not for eyes.
Anyway, this has been fun. I think I got used out of my makeup now. Who gives a shit? Um. Uncut Gems. Okay. Love you guys so much. Those are Trader Joe's chips. Um. Yeah, what was I gonna say? I gotta start packing and stuff. I'm about to make something, actually. I have these, those... Okay, don't... Don't tell Trader Joe's. Because I live right next to her. But I tried their tamales. They're, like, cheese and, like, chili ones. Not it. Like, I almost fucking burfed. Um, and also... The Real Housewives of Melbourne was released on Amazon Plus. So I've been, like, bit Changing that, even though I've already... Uh, uh, seen it. Um. Yeah. I've been, I've been binging that like all for the past like few days. Um. What else? I don't have anything else to say. These are funny. <laughs> yeah. No. These tamales were not it. Like. My grandma's rolling in her grave right now. And she's not even dead yet. Mmm, apple. Oh. Um. Yeah, King Taco. Good luck on your exams, sweetheart. Oh, and also, let's talk about Kim Kardashian for a second. Ow. Um, why is everybody so mad? Hold on. Like, unpopular opinion vibes? Why is everybody so mad at her right now? Like, about saying, get your fucking ass up and work or whatever? Like, she specifically said to business women. Because I think she was trying to be like, I know what she, because she's a Libra. And I feel like I understand Libras. And I feel like she was just trying to have like a positive affirmation, but also a kick in the ass for people that own businesses and stuff. And I kind of get it, because sometimes we, well... I own a door. She's a business. And it's like, sometimes I just don't want to get the fuck up. So I needed Kim Kardashian to be like, get the fuck up. I don't think she was talking to, like, everybody. But it was kind of out of touch. So I can understand why people can look at it and be like, okay, girl. But whatever. You know, I can understand the, the, the intention behind it. Jesus. She only sounds privileged because I think, like, everybody took it because, like, like she's talking to people that have nine to fives. But she said the best advice to give a, a business owner or a businesswoman or whatever, which, sure, she sounds privileged. What do you want her to sound like? She is privileged. Like, sometimes we got to give context where it's, like, needed. And we got to stop being so offended by everything so quickly. Because, like, especially TikTok, like, the girls be like, I'm nothing. I don't want a job. I'm just existing here. I have no purpose. And then when somebody like Kim Kardashian is like, get the fuck up and work. It's like, if, she, if she's not talking to you, she's not talking to you. The people that are mad are the people she's not talking to, I feel. And the people that really needed to hear that aren't really mad because I be lazy sometimes. Um, like, sure, it's okay to be lazy sometimes, but at the same time, like, you need a kick in the ass because... I, get, I fall into a spiral, and I know that I thrive mentally when I'm working, and when I do get my fucking ass up, you know? So, whatevs, she's privileged, we get it, let's move on, it's not, it's not about you, it's not about you, why are you mad? The people that it's not about are mad. Mmm. 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 Let me see. I forgot what lipstick this is. I was gonna say Rihanna, but it's not. Oh, no, it's on my chin. Damn. Mmm. Um. Who is vibe? Oh, God, I'm gonna say this wrong. It's this vibe. I always wanna say Hoda Beauty. 
because Hoda from the morning show, but it's that one. Mm. Yeah, but I knew I, as soon as I saw that clip, I was like, oh, Kim, oh, Kim, no. Like, I get what you're saying, girl, but oh, no, the kids are going to rip you apart. <laughs> Hi, Ganji. Mm-hmm. Huda beauty. You work at Trader Joe's. Can you answer me this for the person that works at Trader Joe's? Why are you guys so flirtatious? And it's not even to just me. You guys are you guys flirt with everybody. And I see it in a line, I'm like. So it's not just me? You know? Trader Joe's workers be flirting like with everybody. Huda. <laughs> Huda. <laughs> Yoda Beauty. Baby Yoda Beauty. Yeah. And it's not even like the cute, like, I like your top. It's like, I like your top. You live around here? And I'm like, can you just scan my broccoli and give me a hug? Yeah, girl. Very, very flirtatious with that ass. <laughs> How am I chewing the apple? I'm fucking hungry, girl. I'm about to like make something in my fridge. My nose is running because I was eating chile earlier. Chile. Oh, I still get I still get pizza. I I get pizza from Trader Joe's even like the frozen pizza, is so good. But I really do love broccoli. Just makes me fart a lot. Can't eat the core. Oh, I'm getting hot. Huh? Guns are funny. We gotta hang out soon. I only put water in this unit because I was doing a quick video and now she's getting all dry and I look like a fucking brujita. What should I eat? Not Jen, just text me. Oh, oh. Not the ghost apple. Pulling tricks. All right. Your daughter asked if I'm from Euphoria. Yeah. I'm Maddie's prima. Huda beauty. You didn't know, girl? That's Huda. Hoda? <laughs> Huda Beauty? Or no? Not my five o'clock shadow because I didn't put beer corrector on. <sighs> oh. Yeah, the apple was good. I kind of want an orange now. Okay, I'll eat an orange and then I'll leave you guys. My hair is just really dry right now. This one seems promising. No, this... this Connection better stop.
Can we operate on 5G? There we go. Thank you. I'm gonna take all this makeup off and go for a fucking walk, girl. Like, my new thing now that I'm old is I like to listen to audiobooks of, like, like, people's autobiographies, and I just go on walks. I usually, well, I'll jog, too, in the morning now, because... It's a whole other story. I need it for health reasons. I really don't, but like, it feels better. It, it, if you do it in the morning, it makes your day feel better. But, mmm. Am I the only one that can eat like a whole orange like in one like thing? I'm like, fuck all that little like meh, like string cheese. I'm like, why do you guys pull string cheese like that? Are you making a, a fucking string cheese wig? How weird. I just see the whole thing like, mmm. Hmm? It's not my fault I feel old. Talk to Drag Race for casting the oldest person on this season is a year younger than me. It's hard to not feel old. You gonna meet me in Berlin? Bitch, I can't wait for the show in Berlin. It's gonna be cute. I don't even really have this hair clipped in, girl. I just did a quick little video. No, it doesn't hurt my teeth. I eat le okay. I'm gonna, uh, this is so bad for your for your enamel, but I eat lemons. Like, I eat them out. Like, I scoop the whole thing out, and I can put like I put chili in it. I eat the whole lemon like that. My brothers are like, well, my brothers like that too. We love lemons. I just love fruit. When Marina and the diamonds. Okay, guys, that's enough compliments for today. I feel like I'll have a good day now that I just used you all for compliments. I'm just kidding. Um, all right, you guys take care of yourselves and each other like Jerry Springer likes to see how my eyes almost getting red right now. Probably say I'm high. Oh my god, I heard that Harry Styles shows his butt in the new gay, like, film that he's, like, filming or whatever. Can't wait! I'll be respectfully looking. My favorite fruit? I don't know. I can't wait for the tour, too! Make sure to get tickets at adoregelano.com. Part of your world tour. We're starting in September. Well, technically, like, August 31st or whatever. But, like, it's basically, like, gonna kick off, like, one of like, in September. So make sure to get tickets there. I'm super excited. We're now assembling the band and getting the set list all together. Well, that's what I've been doing kind of on my own time is just making sure that the set list is cool, seeing if I have, like, room to add, like, some new songs to it. But it's going to be awesome, and I can't wait to play live music again with, like, live crowds. So make sure to go to adoredelano.com to get your tickets now. It's going to be iconic. Uh, and I can't wait. It's a world tour, so we're going to be in a city near you. So check out them dates, bro. It was so funny. The other day, I didn't even know I was playing this venue that, like, I wanted to play my entire life. And I was out playing darts at the bar with my cousin, and some guy came up to me and was like, You're playing such and such whiskey a go-go in LA and I remember like I always wanted to play the whiskey and I was like I am he's like you don't even know your tour dates I'm like bro that's in 2023 so yes I am in LA January 31st at whiskey a go-go I believe but that's just only one of the cool ass music venues that I'll be at um but yeah it's gonna be awesome dude have fun guys I love you be safe today's third I was gonna say have fun watching drag race but that's tomorrow so be safe um and yeah yes can't wait to see you in amsterdam can't wait to see you in brazil can't wait to see you guys love you india hi send my love all right take care of yourself so you guys i love you